Hello, 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 hello. So welcome to our next part that is your baggage rule. So now for baggage, what do you have to remember? There are certain limits, certain conditions that you have to remember. So quickly we'll go through. So any firearm, any firearm cartridges of firearm, if it is greater than 50. So your firearm cartridges firearm is greater than 50 and your cigarettes greater than 100. So if they are greater than 100 in such a case, the rate of duty will be your 100%. Okay. So your firearms 50, cigarette 100, rate of duty is 100. For all others, for all others, it is your 35% plus 10% that is your uh, social welfare surcharge. So that comes to your 38.5%. So 35 plus 10% is basically 3.5. So it comes to 38.5. Okay. Now there are general, there are general duty free baggage allowance. So they have also given something, something that you will be allowed to get into India. So with this chapter means baggage, whenever you're coming from outside India, you must have seen people from Malaysia, etc. get big, big TV. So there are certain conditions that you are, you have to follow certain limits that have been given that only these will be called duty free. Otherwise you will have to pay duty on these goods. Okay. So starting with your rule three, what does rule three say? It is for which class of passengers that is for which people coming into India. So any Indian resident, any Indian resident, any foreigner residing in India, any tourist of Indian origin, excluding your infant, that is your excluding your baby. If their country of origin, if their origin country is any country, but not NBOM, NBM stands for your Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar. So if they are from any, if they are from all any country except these countries, then rule three becomes applicable. Whom your Indian resident, your foreigner residing in India or tourist of Indian origin. Okay. Any country other than Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar rule three will become applicable. What articles will be allowed free of duty? Which articles will be allowed free of duty? Any used personal effect, used personal effect means any of your personal belongings. For example, you're using your laptop, you're using your phones, all of that come under your used personal effects, effects and travel souvenirs, anything that you've got from outside as a souvenir. Any articles, articles less than or equal to 50,000. Okay. Articles exclude articles less than or equal to 50,000, excluding an extra one articles. If you, if you see down, I've made an mixture, I've made an mixture of all your articles. So excluding an extra one article, if they get, then all of that will be allowed. Next is your under rule three only that is your tourist of foreign origin excluding influence tourist of foreign origin because over here what did we did we did tourist of indian origin first we did tourist of indian origin now we are doing tourist of foreign origin tourist of foreign origin again the same any country except your nepal bhutan and Myanmar. what will they be allowed they will be allowed use personal effect this is also use personal effect use personal effect over here, the limit was 50,000. Over here, instead of 50,000, this limit becomes 15,000. So that means if you are a tourist of foreign origin, you are allowed 15,000. If you are a tourist of Indian origin, you are allowed 50,000. Okay. So 15,000 and 50,000, this you have to remember. Otherwise, both of them are same. There is nothing different. Next is your rule 4. Rule 4 is for Indian resident, foreigner residing in India or tourist excluding your infant. So now you're over here, over here, what do you have to do now over here? The tourist, whether of Indian origin, not Indian origin does not matter. It is the same people, Indian resident, foreigner residing in India, but over here, your origin country is your NBM, that is your Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar. That's why, that's why we had removed them over here because there is a separate rule for people from these country. So if their origin country is Nepal, Bhutan or Myanmar, in such a case, of course, your use personal effects will again be allowed. Your article, this is same. Articles less than or equal to 15,000 excluding your NXR1 articles. And on arriving by land, if, if, if you are arriving by land, that means you are using a transport and coming, you are not coming, you are not coming by any flight. Okay. In such a case, only use personal effects will be allowed. That means this will not be allowed if you are coming by land. Only use personal effects are allowed, nothing else. However, if you are coming by flight, this will also be allowed. Okay. Next is any, any, any passenger residing abroad for a period of more than one year. So if you are residing abroad for a period of more than one year, in such a case, your origin of country is any country, then 
आर यू अलाउड टू ब्रिंग एनी गोल्ड येस फॉर मेल्स ओके दिस इज मेल एंड दिस इज फीमेल ओके सो फॉर मेल ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स और रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके सो ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स मैक्सिमम यू आर अलाउड एंड कैप ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड हैव बीन सेट वाइल फॉर फीमेल ज्वेलरी इट इज फोर्टी ग्राम्स एंड मैक्सिमम कैप ऑफ रुपीज वन लैक्स वॉट यू टू टी फॉर फीमेल इट इज एक्ट डबल ओके सो दीज फॉर योर जनरल ड्यूटी फ्री बैगेज अलाउंस प्लीज 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 सी दिस चार्ट वेरी केयरफुली आई ट्राई टू समराइज इट टू द ग्रेटेस्ट एक्सटेंड पॉसिबल फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड ओके नाउ पॉइंट टू नोट इंफेंट अप टू टू इयर्स ओनली यूज पर्सनल इफेक्ट विल बी अलाउड सो दैट इज अप टू टू इयर्स ओनली योर यूज पर्सनल इफेक्ट विल बी अलाउड दे विल नॉट बी गिवन एनी अदर एक्सेंशन नेक्स्ट जनरल ड्यूटी फ्री बैगेज अलाउंस ऑफ अ पैसेंजर कैन बी पुल्ड विद अनदर पैसेंजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द वुमेन से दैट आई ओनली हैव ज्वेलरी आई ओनली हैव गोल्ड ऑफ थर्टी ग्राम्स कैन यू गिव दिस एक्स्ट्रा टेन ग्राम दैट आई हैव कैन आई क्लब इट विद माई हजबेंड नो दैट इज नॉट अलाउड ड्यूटी फ्री अलाउंस ऑफ अ पैसेंजर कैन बी पुल्ड विद अनदर पैसेंजर वन लैपटॉप or computer imported by a passenger of the age 18 years or more so if any person more than 18 year 18 years or more is importing a laptop or a computer other than member of crew it is exempt that means they do not have to pay duty on such laptop or computer it is only one laptop or computer okay if you get 10 then only one will be exempt rest nine will be taxable okay now annexer these are your annexer 1 2 and 3 annexer 1 2 and 3 have some items specified now what does this say annexer 1 has your firearms cartridge of firearms greater than 50 cigarettes greater than 100 cigars greater than 25 and tobacco greater than 125 all of this will come under your annexer 1 any alcoholic liquor wine greater than 2 liters Gold, silver in any form other than ornament, and your flat panel LCD, LED, plasma TV, all of this comes under annexure one. Under annexure two, your TV, your color, your color TV, video home theater system, dishwasher, deep freezer, domestic uh, refrigerator of capacity greater than three hundred liters. So your fridge of capacity greater than three hundred liters comes in your annexure two. Your video camera. Films of thirty-five mm and more. All of this comes under your annexure two. Under annexure three comes your video cassettes, record player, your music system, AC, microwave oven, word processing machine, fax, domestic refrigerator with capacity less than or equal to three hundred liters. Photocopy washing machine, elect electrical or LPG cooking range, laptop computer. All of this comes under your annexure three. so i will erase this i will erase this if you want to take screenshot if you do not want to purchase these notes i will erase this so that you can take a screenshot and you will remember these three annexures okay great okay next is your rule 6 now what does rule 6 say if 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 the person stays abroad for a period of 3 to 6 months If stays abroad for a period of three to six months, six to twelve months, minimum one year stay in the last two years or two years or more, then there are certain uh, certain limits given. That is duty free articles, personal and household articles in annexure, not one and two. Okay, therefore I have particularly cut annexure one and two, including articles in annexure three. That means basically for annexure three articles. If you have stayed abroad for so and so period, this is what your maximum amount of duty free will be. Okay, and there are certain conditions that you have to satisfy. So basically, if basically this becomes very important, that is your annexure three, because these items are only they they have any they have a specific amount given. So if your stay of if your period of stay abroad is between three to six months, you will be allowed. Less than or equal to rupees sixty thousand, provided you are an Indian passenger. If it was six to twelve months, that is six to twelve months, it it has been doubled. So over here, sixty k will become hundred k. So maximum hundred k will will be duty free articles. Again, the same condition: you have to be an Indian passenger. Okay, if there is a minimum, if there is a minimum one year stay in the last two years, so in the last two years, if including everything, there is one year stay abroad. 
in such a case your limit will be equal to or greater than uh, equal to maximum rupees 200000 okay indian passenger who has not availed this concession in the last 3 years so it is an indian passenger but you are only allowed to use this once every 3 years this 200k limit next is if you are staying abroad for a period of 2 years or more if you are staying abroad for a period of 2 years or more you will be allowed you will be allowed maximum 500000 as duty free now what are the conditions minimum stay of 2 years abroad immediately preceding the date of his arrival on transfer of residence during the two preceding years stay in india has to be less than or equal to six months it cannot be more than six months so only and only if you stay in india if not more than six months will you be allowed to come under this passenger has not availed this concession in the preceding three years okay so this this condition and this conditions both is same in these limits okay and last part of this chapter is your rule eight so any unaccompanied baggage, it can be dispatched within one month of arrival in India or up to two months before the arrival of the passenger. Okay, so if 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 before you come your baggage has been shipped, that is the time limit that they are giving. So within one month of arrival in India or up to two months before the arrival of the passenger. Therefore, it is called unaccompanied baggage because your baggage has reached but you have not reached. Okay, and with this we are done with our chapter of baggage and I will see you in the next video.